So my name is Hannah Engel, and this is the image that I've chosen to describe for this assignment. Um, so in this image, we have a pretty detailed scene going on. Uh, according to the bottom description, we're looking at the streets of Los Angeles, California. The year is 1964, and it's pretty obvious of that fact, as there are uh, three women walking down a street toward us. They're wearing very 60s style clothing. They look fairly well off, maybe upper middle class. Uh, if I had to put my finger on it. There's one dark-haired woman kind of in the front. She looks like she's kind of leading this pod of women uh, walking toward us. She's wearing a white dress. She's got a really nice purse. Uh, she's wearing heels. She looks like she has her hair done. In the back with the other two women, one of them is wearing a white blouse with a dark short skirt. Uh, the second woman is wearing kind of like a tunic style dress. They're both wearing high heels. They're both, uh, they both have their hair done as well. They look really well off. Um, if we shift our eyes to the bottom right corner, there's what appears to be a large family waiting on maybe a taxi or a bus. I would say probably a bus given how big uh, this, group of, uh, this group of people are. Um, I think there's six people here. Um, it looks like there's one mother uh, with three or four daughters with maybe one or two sons. There's kind of one hidden behind the other three, so it's hard to tell, but there's, there's a total of six people here. Um, the ages are fairly young. There's, I see a toddler girl as well as a pretty young boy. I would say he's maybe eight years old. The other two children, they look fairly young as well with one teenage daughter, it seems. Um, and like I said, it looks like they're just kind of waiting on this street that's happening in front of them. If uh, we shift our vision to the opposite corner, the opposite bottom left corner, uh, we see something that I almost personally looked over. I almost didn't see it when I, uh, when I first saw this image. There's a man. Uh, he's got really messy hair really messy dark hair, he's slumped over, he's in a wheelchair. He's, let's see, his clothes are kind of scraggly looking, he looks kind of messy, um, and he kind of looks like he needs help. And it's it's kind of sad when you really look at, look at this image, it's uh, the center women, they're looking at this man, uh, you know, and they're they're looking at him and they're just going to walk by, it looks like. It looks like they're not even going to stop to help him or see what's going on. And the same applies with this group of, uh, this family over here. The son, one of the sons is looking at this man and he's not really doing anything either. And the mother and the other daughters and the other siblings, they all have their back turned to him. So it kind of, maybe this is symbolizing like, oh, well, it's just another day, um, they don't, they're not really giving too much care into it. And um, one thing that I did want to point out that at the end of this video is the time period. Again, we're, we're looking at 1964. This, of course, was the time that the Civil Rights Act was passed. It prohibited discrimination based on things like sex and race. And I think this is, this is a really good visual representation by Gary Winogrand showing that there was still discri uh, discrimination going on at this period. He was a street photographer who targeted social issues, and like I said, I think this is a very good representation of that. Because when we separate this photo into three separate vertical columns, um, there's almost like a separation of these various groups. 